Hey neighbors, Paul Driftmeyer here. Uh, thank you for joining me on this seventh episode of Out of the Frying Pan. Uh, I sure appreciate you taking your valuable time out of your busy day to spend 11 or 12 or 13 minutes listening to me. Um, that's awesome and I appreciate it. Uh, I, on the other hand, have been absent for more than a week. Um, I apologize for that. I had to go down to southwest Florida on the sunny Gulf Coast and uh, pick up my little white ragtop vet, which I dearly love, and drive it back all the way up to... Uh, central Wisconsin, where I'm sitting right now in the Fat Pipes recording studio. Uh, and uh, I want to uh, say that there, but for the grace of God, go I, because I dodged between two significant storms, one that dropped gigantic hail on Jacksonville, Florida, and another one a couple days later that uh, generated a dust storm in central Illinois that scrubbed the highway of its cars. And uh, I missed that by only hours uh, coming up through uh, right ahead of that. And uh, so uh, thank you, good Lord, for the timing and uh, the travel blessings there. So sorry to be absent. Let's jump right into the fire. She said, and she was advocating for more state control, bigger government, stronger unions, and democracy. She said, human beings are the largest terrorist organization on earth. Human beings are the largest terrorist organization on earth. So I said, and I'm advocating for more individual liberty, smaller government, peaceful collective bargaining, and the rule of law. And I said, you're correct. I agree with you 100%. Uh, human beings didn't get to the top of the food chain by being nice guys. No, we got here by being the most badass, most bloodthirsty, most intelligent, most opportunistic, most inventive, most free-willed apex predators ever to walk the surface of this planet in its long, long history. The most badass? Uh, yeah, yeah. Human beings survived the asteroid impacts that ended the Pleistocene that wiped out the megafauna, like the mammoths and the cave bears. Uh, we recovered from that devastation when most of the species on Earth that shared it with us did not, uh, including some of our own cousins. And uh, it made us better. Uh, the most bloodthirsty? What about that social contract? What about human beings are supposed to be all kumbaya and altruistic? Uh, no. Uh, there was a playwright in Rome by the name of Plautus, and uh, he lived in the second century BC. Um, this was a period of time uh, during the trajectory of the Roman Republic when Romans still had a slim chance of not repeating the cycles of history and going down the primrose path to empire. Uh, and ultimately ruin and destruction. Um, so, so he said, uh, and I'll say it in Latin first like he would have, he said, homo homini lupus est. Latin is such a great language. Homo homini lupus est. And that in English translates into man is a wolf to man. Yeah, man is a wolf to man. And we all know in our hearts of hearts, at least I think we do, uh, that Plautus was right. He was on to something. And the only question is, what do we do about it? How do we get along? I mean, we homo sapiens sapiens, uh, we killed off or bred out of existence all of our cousins who for unaccountable generations had shared this planet with us like Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. Uh, they're the best known, and uh, yes, scientific theory currently supports the idea that Homo sapiens neanderthalensis are correctly a subspecies of Homo sapiens uh, and not their own species. Uh, so closely related to us were they. Um, and they departed the earth along with the Pleistocene. Um, 
Maybe it was the asteroids. Maybe it was Homo sapiens sapiens. Uh, maybe it was the flood. Uh, but in any event, they're gone and we're here. Uh, there were other cousins as well um, that succumbed to our aggressions, to our, uh, frankly, bonobo-esque libidos, and uh, possibly to environmental uh, pressures. Hodo, Hodo, Homo rudolfensis, uh, Homo antecessor, Homo floresiensis, Homo luzinensis, Homo longi, all gone, all extinct. Only we remain. The most intelligent? Sometimes I wonder. Um, and sometimes folks like to pretend uh, that there are other species on the planet smarter than we hominids, like elephants or dolphins or maybe the octopods. And no, I don't think so. Um, we are and always have been the contractual apes, um, the specialists, the interplanetary life forms who are leaving the mothership under their own power. Uh, but we are and always have been the opportunistic and clever bipeds. Um, you know, we will happily aggress on our own neighbors if we think we can get away with it. Um, and if there are enough of us, like in a democracy, for instance, we'll reach right through your window and we'll take the pie right off your shelf and we'll look you in the eyes and we'll say, what you going to do about it? That's who human beings are. And we're inventive, um, you know, because we're always looking for an easier way. Uh, if you have a difficult task, so they say, ask a lazy man and he'll find an easy way of doing it. Um, but another thing they say, and my mother used to say, and I'm sure her mother and lots of other mothers have said, necessity is the mother of invention. And I believe that that is true, but I also believe that the flip side is true. Uh, and that is that without necessity, invention dies. Without necessity, the wealth transfer process in 21st century America is designed to eliminate necessity. And we wonder why we're still using the same old technology for roads and cities. <sighs> Without necessity, invention falters. Uh, yeah, and we're free-willed. Um, what is free will? Free will is a spontaneous order uh, that arises in our minds. Um, and with it, we can overcome our primitive hominid instincts, like our xenophobia, like our opportunism, uh, like our aggression. And... We can act in diverse ways to manifest our enlightened self-interest. Debaters scoff. They say, what is this free will of what you speak? There is no free will. And they say, we do what we are destined to do, or what we are told to do, or what we have to do. There is no such thing as free will. That's Freud. And I say, rubbish. Balderdash. I don't care if you have a nice name like Freud. I disagree with you. I say the very foundation of freedom is the conviction that human beings are freely willing species uh, with the capacity to choose between alternative actions. I say freedom of the will and its corollary, willpower, is mankind's primordial liberty. It's the fountainhead from which every other freedom, all of our natural rights arise. Uh, as Rose Wilder Lane said, freedom is self-control. No more, no less. Freedom is self-control. Freedom is not just the absence of external arbitrary controls, no. The absence of external arbitrary controls simply reflects and implements an individual's inner liberty and free will.
Humans seek the free society because every variety of totalitarianism violates the demands of mankind's nature. And it's an insult to our intellects. And so it's easy to see the genius of this republic's founding, which is grounded in the primacy of individual human beings' free will. And the authors of this republic understood the delicate balance in each individual human being between our primordial opportunism and our intellect-driven free will. And they knew that the opportunistic amongst us are always attracted to the reins of power, to government. That's the rule of men. And it starts with democracy. And then it's distilled and concentrated into tyranny every single time. This Republic's authors sought to chain down these political opportunists and the rule of those men uh, so that those they serve might grow and thrive and invent by the dictates of their own free wills. So are we human beings, the terrorists, the debater decries? You bet we are. That's why the rule of law makes government undesirable to the opportunistic primates amongst us. It's the whole point of our Constitution. Fight me. Or you can hit that like and share and subscribe and know how much I appreciate your attention. So uh, that's all I got for you. Take care until episode 8 and uh, have a great day.